What's going on everybody and welcome to the very first edition of My Shit's Broke, Freak, Please Help. And joining me today is Freak. What's going on Freak? How you doing? What's going on man? How you doing? Good. Thank you so much for your help today. Uh, you're saving my life. I'm glad I can help. Glad I can help. It's a little weird FaceTiming tech work but we'll make it happen. So uh, I've got my Taylor 814CE here in two different pieces. I took the neck off because I've got this nasty crack. Um, and Freak is gonna talk me through gluing it up properly and getting it back on the guitar. So, uh, take it from here. All right, basically, you need a couple of things. You've already taken the guitar neck off, and that's one of the main steps. On a Taylor, it's easy because it's the three bolts. Most acoustics you can't do that with. So. Right now, you're going to need a little block that will fit in between the 14th and 15th fret, just so you're not smashing any frets down with the clamp. Mm -hmm. You need a good clamp and some good wood glue. Those are your basic ingredients that you're going to be using. First thing is to assess the nature of the crack. You want to bleed some glue into that crack. Now, the way the tips on the glue bottle are designed, you can unloosen it kind of smash it right up to there and squeeze like all hell and shoot glue down into there as far as you can. If you feel that you can't get glue down into there easily, what you can do is either use a little piece of card or paper to try to, you know, act as a sort of brush and get it down in there. Okay. But, so, squirt some glue onto there, squirt it in there, use your thumb and finger, push like all hell, it'll eventually seep into the areas and, and you'll fill up the space. A wet paper towel, you know, damp more or less, will help wipe up any wood glue nice and easy. You know, so wipe it up, clean it all off good, make sure you don't leave any excess anywhere you don't want it to be. I think you've uh, filled the crack pretty good. Now, like I said, it's just time to uh, get her clamped. Clamping the neck will be easy. It doesn't matter which way the clamp goes, you know. Uh, Whatever is uh, easiest for you. I think I got it. What do you think? Yeah, there you go. There you go. You're, that's just fine. You got the excess glue popping out everywhere. Does it, the clamp seem nice and tight? Yes. Yep. And now, you just clean that sucker up. Uh-huh. And then uh, let her go. And I always let things like that go full 48 hours. Like I said, as long as you clean everything up as good as you can right now, you won't really have to worry about anything later. What do you think? Have your stamp of approval? Oh yeah, look at that, that's great. Yeah, you can't even see it. You just put it somewhere that's safe that it's not gonna fall, and uh, you should be good to go. But uh, again, you know, I'm, I'm glad I can help. It's definitely uh, different doing it like this. <laughs> Thanks again for joining me today, and uh, yeah, hopefully I, we don't need to do this again anytime soon, but. <laughs> hopefully not, hopefully not, take care. Yeah, yeah. you do the same, man. <laughs> Thanks again, Freak. All right, everybody. Um, so it has been over 48 hours that I've let the glue dry here in the neck. Uh, and now, moment of truth, we are going to take the clamp off. I want to be very gentle. Ah, okay, there goes that block, that's okay. So I'm gonna go ahead and put this back on the guitar, and then we're gonna restring it. Looks like a guitar again. Strings are on. They are not quite tuned, but close enough to where the tension is where it'll be. All right, so I think we did it, folks. Uh, thank you so much for watching, and of course, huge thank you going out to Freak for his time and for walking me through this repair. Uh, please subscribe to my channel if you don't already for more music videos, hopefully less repair videos. Uh, until then, see you next time.